This video was recorded with the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. Skip it up and that up. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rich of Review Tech USA. And yeah, bitch, you look just like Nicki Minaj if she got ran over by a truck. Now, Jack Trenton has spoken. He has explained why the PS4 won't enforce DRM on its users. Can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. Jack Trenton is awesome. Now on to today's story. So Jack Trenton has called the PlayStation 4 a consumer-focused machine, and that's why it will not limit used games or require users to connect to the internet once a day. Here's what else he had to say. We're most concerned about the consumer, and we really appeal to consumers on a worldwide basis. And I think in the United States, we realize there's a high degree of broadband adoption. But we're in a lot of countries where people don't have the ability to connect on a daily basis, and we want to appeal to consumers worldwide. He then goes on to talk about used games and why they don't want to put DRM on them and allow people to trade in and exchange and borrow games from friends. The other thing that it relates to is the ownership of the game. If people pay a lot of money for that, they equate the value with the flexibility they have in that. And that's true, that if you buy a game, if I buy a game, I want to do whatever the hell I want to do with it to a point. Obviously not make copies and give people free copies of the game, that's illegal. But my copy of the game, I should be able to do what I want to do with it. I agree with him. He goes on to say, to do with it as they choose, to give it to their friends, to sell it to their friends, trade it in at a retailer. That creates value in the initial purchase that they make. Now, I'm glad to hear that they're really standing behind, you know, keeping the games supposedly keeping the games DRM free or at least Sony having nothing to do with DRM even like you know doing the whole nitty gritty thing like Xbox is doing having approved retailers having the game to be have to be deactivated from your account when you trade it in the Xbox one has to check into the internet every 24 hours the PS4 doesn't that's great and I'm glad they're taking this approach but like I've been saying constantly over and over again if the game has DRM on all the other platforms it's gonna have DRM on the PS4 they could tell me whatever they want to now I just can't picture them not telling like a huge AAA title not coming to the PS4 because they don't want DRM on their system. I just cannot fathom that. Also, too, you got to realize, people, is that digital distribution is inevitable. It's coming soon to a console near you. And in a few years, it's the only way you're going to you're going to get your games. You're not going to go to a retail store anymore and purchase games the old fashioned way on a disc. Those days are numbered. I already know what this is like because of Steam, but for people out there, I know a lot of people just solely game on consoles and have not experienced digital distribution yet. I know it seems foreign to you, but it's coming. I'm not saying I'm super excited about this. I'm not. Okay, I, I like I said to you, I got The Last of Us on disc. I could have downloaded it off PSN and it would have ran fine, but I wanted... I like getting, you know, sometimes getting the actual packaging myself as well. So I get where you're coming from, but... It's just the way the industry's going. And I, I probably know Sony's saying a lot of stuff right now, and I'm, I'm sure they're going to hold true to it for a while. But once digital distribution takes over, man, things are going to change. And you're not going to be worrying about bringing your disc to your friend's house because there's going to be no disc to buy the game on anyway. It's coming soon whether you like it or not. Anyway, folks, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have an interesting news story you would like me to discuss, private message me with a link via YouTube. And if I use your news article, I will give you a shout out in the video and feature your YouTube channel in the description. Have a good one.